Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is celebrating a massive free trade deal with the European Union. Finally comes into force today after eight, yes, eight years of talks. Mm, trade talks take a while, don't mm -hmm. they? I wonder if... Uh people in Europe and London are listening. It's called the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, or CETA for short. Let's give you an idea of the scale. So trade in goods between the two sides worth around $77 billion last year. Yeah, the deal will eliminate the vast majority of tariffs or customs charges. That's on goods that flow between the two sides. It poses a challenge, though, of course, for Britain because uh, when Britain is no longer a part of the European Union, it will no longer be a part of this trade deal either. This is something that the UK Prime Minister was at pains to say would not be a problem in the future. She says there'll be a seamless transition to a new trade deal with Canada and the UK in the future. Uh, let's get more on this. Let's speak to Sarah Fountain-Smith, who's Deputy High Commissioner for Canada in the UK. She joins us now from the newsroom. Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us on Business Live. Um, we talked there about eight years in the making, finally an agreement. How relieved are you that we're in a position where this deal is done? Well, it's a great day and it's really a cause for celebration. Uh, the provisional application of the CETA today really marks a new chapter in the relationship between Canada and the EU. And as you mentioned, it effectively addresses or eliminates barriers in virtually all sectors of Canada-EU trade. Just from a practical point of view, Sarah, talk us through what this means for those living in Europe and those in Canada. You know, what goods will be flowing between the two that will be that much cheaper because of the tariffs gone? Well, as mentioned, I think at the top of the item, uh, we'll be seeing 98% of tariffs eliminated today. Uh, and that has direct implications on, on a number of key sectors. Uh, just to give you one example here in the UK, we'll see the total elimination of the 8% tariff on maple syrup, uh, we'll hope, which hopefully will be welcomed uh, here. But for the UK, it's also important in terms of the exports of uh, items such as gin or confectionery products, uh, automotive parts, uh, information and communication technologies. It's really across the board and it's very significant. Um, as we mentioned too, of course, the UK are very instrumental in, in, in coming up with this deal, but it will be no longer part of the deal when it leaves the European Union. Um, I wonder if you have any advice as far as those trade negotiations go. What should the UK be considering when it tries to forge these deals on its own? Well, Prime Minister May, when she was in Ottawa on Monday, had the opportunity to discuss this with Prime Minister Trudeau, and, and they both spoke about the importance of maintaining stability and continuity in the Canada-UK trading relationship. Uh, they both also reaffirmed their commitment to CETA and the enthusiasm uh, that they have about its benefits. And importantly, they agreed that they could see CETA as being a basis for future discussions between Canada and the UK on our own trading relationship, of course respecting the EU's requirements uh, regarding negotiations. It's good to talk to you. Thank you for explaining that. Sarah Fanta smith there, Deputy High Commissioner for Canada, joining us from the newsroom. It's good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks. Cheaper maple syrup in Europe. What a thought.